So next, please welcome our gala committee chair, Susan Arndt, who will present the Patricia Blake Advocacy Award, an award given to an individual or individuals who exemplify the belief in the potential of all children with disabilities to achieve. For the very first time, the Patricia Blake Parent Advocacy Award is being given to the next generation, a sibling and a peer of a child with special needs. The Federation places tremendous value on parents as leaders and advocates for their families. There is nothing more gratifying than seeing parental leadership and advocacy being passed down to the next generation. This year, the Federation has decided to honor these children for advocating for a child with special needs and making their example carry on throughout their school. Along with their families, Tommy Cooney, the peer, and Tim Keefe, the sibling, are being given the Patricia Blake Parent Advocacy Award for what they have done for Tim's younger brother, Danny. Their story is truly heartwarming and inspiring. Here it is. Do you need a water? Do you need a water? Do you need water? Not every high school football team has a water coach, and only Bridgewater Raynham Regional High School has seven year old Danny Keith. Water. We needed a water coach, and he's the best dressed water boy, water coach, probably in America. That's not by accident. Since he was two, Danny has started each day in Bridgewater, Massachusetts, by picking out his clothes with care. Button-down shirt, suit jacket, knotted tie, and typically, a fedora on top. How many different suits do you have? I had to go with like a million and like a many ties. How do you choose what to wear in the morning? Oh, that's the hard part. Danny has apraxia, miscommunication between his brain and the muscles in his mouth. It's the result of a brain bleed shortly after his birth. Doctors could offer only a pessimistic prognosis. They said, whatever you do, don't expect much from him. He may never walk, may never talk. My first question was, would he survive? And he said that he would. And I said, we'll deal with that. That as long as he'll survive, you know, we'll figure it out. Danny defied the odds, growing up lively, active, and eager to make friends. At school, a few kids unable to understand his words or puzzled by his grown-up attire would act in hurtful ways. It would be those that would say, hey, listen to this kid, he's speaking Chinese. You know, and Danny got it. They got, he got that they were making fun of him. So for one Christmas, he showed me a picture of a world globe because then he could bring it into school and show the kids that he's from the same country that they're from. And then one day one of the kids took off his hat and threw it in the mulch, and threw mulch on his hair. Then I'm then, I'm then, I'm then pick up two of his mouth, then I climb in it, then then I'm open, then he just dropped it on me. How does it make you feel when someone does that? Very sad. Danny's big brother, Tim, is best friends with Tommy Cooney. Last year, they were playing together on the Bridgewater Badgers. Danny was their water coach. When Tommy, the team's quarterback, heard what had happened, he got an idea to boost Danny's spirits in a big way. Why did you think wearing a suit would be a cool thing for Danny? To like show all the little kids that he's, he's cool, he's a kid to respect. It's showing them he's a person just like you are. 
He may dress differently, he may talk differently, but he has feelings too. Danny Appreciation Day was set for November 20th, 2013. He was taken to his brother's school, where he found Tim and Tommy and scores of their teammates and friends all dressed like Dan. I could hear them chanting, Danny, 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 and I'm like, they're all supporting him. To be humble, to be kind, it is a giving of the peace in your mind, to a stranger, to a friend, to give in such a way that has no end, we are loved. How good was that day? The most best day. You came up with this all by yourselves? Yeah. How did you do that? To make Danny feel good about himself. I don't think he's ever had a bad day since. It took just hours for Danny's story to go viral. Days later, he and Tommy were flown to California to appear on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Then came the big surprise message from Tom Brady. Danny, people still tease me about what I wear, but I never listen to them, so keep wearing what makes you feel best. And Tommy, I love your leadership and how you stood up for Danny, and I hear you're both big Patriot fans, so I'd love to give you guys some tickets to our regular season finale against Buffalo in a few weeks. The way they stuck up to their friend and the way that they really came together is really something that we can all learn from. The day at Gillette Stadium included a tour through the Patriots Hall of Fame, with gifts from owner Robert Kraft, including a Pat's tie for Danny. Being supportive of someone that might be a little different in the way they do things or the way they are. We need to be in a world that there's more of that. It's great to see that People are actually listening to Danny now. It makes him puff his chest out a little bit and say, I have a fracture and I really don't care. And I'm gonna get my point across. Please join me in welcoming Tommy Cooney his parents, Corinne and Tom, and Tim Keefe, his parents, Jennifer and Mark, and Tim's siblings, Danny, Matt, and Emily. So Anne, just breathe, is that what I'm doing? Just breathe. <laughs> On behalf of the Coonies and the Keeves, we would like to thank the Federation and all of you for this honor tonight. We're very blessed to be here. Um, I would like to first start off by commending um, Tommy and Timmy and the 40 Band of Brothers that stood by Danny on that day back in November. They reminded us. They reminded us that it really just takes a, a simple act to make someone feel special, and it it's really, you know, goes to show their leadership skills. So I really feel grateful for the award that they got tonight, because they are the next generation of leaders. I would also like to thank Nancy Kirk. She's the boys principal. Um, she's here with us tonight. She, she, 
she, she was able to offer them um, a safe, supportive atmosphere where they could show this support. 11-year-old um, boys just wanted to just show Danny they loved him, but they don't really plan out logistics. Um, so Nancy was able to help with that. Um, the boys were able to gather in a safe environment where not only did they support Danny, but what was really truly amazing that day, there were children that were talking about how they themselves had been picked on, that they had siblings that had been picked on. There were a lot of tears and a lot of raw emotion that day. There were boys that had never spoken about the pain that they had went through. And the love that I saw in that room, that we saw in that room, was truly amazing. They were touching each other, they were hugging each other, and they were telling each other it would be all right. So I would like to thank their parents for, for raising young men that know that it's okay to show their support. That leads me to Tom and Kareen. Thank you so much for teaching Tommy. Sorry. <laughs> for teaching Tommy how to be a true leader and to also to stand up for what he believes in, even when others um, would not do the same. So, so thank you for that. I'm almost done, but I would like to thank my father. My father is a special education teacher, and I just happened to be on the phone with him telling him what Tommy was going to do that day in November and how the band of brothers were coming together. And he got off the phone, and I don't know, he must have typed as fast as he could because he was typing to every news station and paper that he could. And um, the, the, the Bridgewater Enterprise picked up the story, and they were with us that day. And my husband always says to the boys, how cool, you're going to be in the newspaper. <laughs> and as you saw on the video, the story went viral. And so not only did my dad help us spread um, this wonderful story, but raise awareness for apraxia. So for me, it was a little selfish because a lot of people had never heard of apraxia. And we were able to get the word out. And it was never intended that way. It was just this boy standing up for his friend. And so I thank you for that. So to Danny and to every person that is dealing with challenges, I would like you to know and to remember you're not alone in this. You have a huge support system. You're stronger than most of us because you fight every day for what you believe in. The world is yours and you should be proud of yourselves and celebrate all of your accomplishments. Mark and I know that we have a long journey ahead of us with Danny, but we know with friends and family, we can get through this. So we just wanna thank you all again for this amazing honor tonight and welcoming here, us here tonight. Thank you. <laughs>